नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू द थर्ड एपिसोड ऑफ वीडियो सीरीज टी के इज हल इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सॉइल इट्स डिक्लाइनिंग हेल्थ एंड अर्जेंसी टू फॉलो सुटेबल मेजर्स सो दैट लाइफ ऑन द अर्थ कैन सर्वाइव सस्टेनेबली इज इट नॉट वेरी क्लियर दैट विद द डिटोरेटिंग सॉइल फर्टिलिटी producing enough food for the growing population cannot be addressed by simply pumping more and more chemical fertilizers to the soil in most of the cases due to declining fertilizer use efficiency it is simply futile to add any further dose of fertilizer or a single grain of fertilizer to the crop production therefore the need of the hour is to make all possible efforts that could reduce the use of chemical fertilizers or at least should not allow it to increase further this is to be done without compromising on soil as well as crop productivity at the same time it should help in maintaining the natural resource base plus human health you know the key to achieve sustainability in agriculture is the effective management of resources resources like soil crop and water that is every drop of water we will discuss them one by one soils being fundamental for life effective management of its soil that is soil organic matter is of utmost importance soil organic matter is a term used for fresh plant residues to highly decomposed material humus is the extremely decomposed and highly valuable end product of decomposition in order to assess the soil organic matter soil organic carbon that is soc levels are measured as per international standards the organic carbon content in the top soil that is 25 to 30 cm or say 1 ft soil should be 2 to 3% while in india above 0.7% is termed as high 0.5 to 0.75 is medium and 0.5% and below is termed as low soils with less than 0.5% organic carbon are mostly limited to desert area dr rastan lal renowned soil scientist and winner of world food prize year 2020 said that soil health is degraded in most regions of india and therefore it is important to know the status of organic carbon content of your soil this is because organic carbon is vital for soil erosion absorption and storage of water decompose organic residues reduce soil erosion and increase plant nutrition the capacity or the extent to which the soil performs these vital functions determine its health therefore the very first step towards sustainable agriculture and to bring down the cost of cultivation is to get the soil tested from the nearest soil testing lab at the earliest possible friends let us have a quick look on how to collect soil sample the first step is to plan for representative samples of your plot that is number of spots from where to collect the soil sample then collect soil from all those spots from 15 to 20 cm depth mix them well divide into four parts and discard the two till you are left with about 500 g of soil sample this is your final sample to be sent for soil testing keep watching thanks for watching like the video and subscribe the channel share with friends and give feedback so that we can continue to include new topics for further discussion <music>